Welcome to another reading session of Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Trilogy. On the last episode, basically, we finally saved our friend uh, Edgeworth here. So now he's a freed man, not only from the, the crime that he's been accused of, but also the guilt that he's been holding on since he was a child. And also we find the real culprit uh, that was involved, who turns out to be the prosecutor we're going against the entire time. So, you know, with the chapter ending uh, basically on a nice positive note, Maya just kind of pretty much just uh, left to go back to her sp uh, spirit medium training. And, um, you know, and basically we're just off to live another day of being a lawyer. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. Rise from the ashes. Yes. Very spooky. It's been two months since Maya left the office. Two months without a single trial. I had offers, but none I took. That is, until the day that girl showed up. I can film noir up in here. February 22nd, 10 How does he afford rent if he doesn't take jobs. I don't know. Maybe he's got a big That's bonus from Edgeworth, man. <laughs> you know. Uh, Japan and Pornia has a very generous safety net, you know. <laughs> Probably. Anyways, welcome to the... Oh, I forgot about his OnlyFans. Oh, just... <laughs> yeah. That, oh, yeah. That's, right. that, that's how you, he got paid. Can finally it's collaborate like... <laughs> with Edgeworth on his OnlyFans. He's making, he's breaking in dough. <laughs> exactly. In case our viewers didn't know, we have expanded upon the uh, Ace Attorney... <laughs> Are we stuck? Yeah. Made their life more interesting. Yeah, we decided to make the things more interesting, so you guys will pick up on. But the the inside fun joke is <laughs> sure, figure it out. Um, after several breaking of things by Maya, basically we joked around, or at least I joked around, saying, "God dang, I have to go back to my OnlyFans account to basically supply my financial need to not only support my lowering but also this damn liability." So. Anyways. Also, we found that it's known in that uh, Phoenix Wright and Miles Edgeworth are a couple. We <laughs> ship Wrightworth. That oh, <laughs> dude, right it's already, isn't that already a Zappa just canon anyway? Uh, it maybe. should be. <laughs> All right, so perhaps we should get let's <laughs> let's <laughs> let's transition let's, to the uh, <laughs> transition to the next scene here before we lose ourselves. All right. Why do I come here to the office every day? It's not like I want to work. I think this is a lady who's going to be our new Maya for this case. That's right. I'll take it. There you are. Finally. Where have you been? My sister's trial is tomorrow. Ellipsis. More ellipsis. Um... Who are you? It doesn't matter who I am. It only matters who you are. The famous defense attorney, Mia Fey. Ellipsis. Ellipsis. Oh, um... You're not Mia Fey, are you? Yeah, thanks for reopening that fucking wound. Um... <laughs> I'm sorry, but, uh... Miss Mia, Mia Fey no longer works here. Uh, so you are the coffee boy? Miss Phoenix Wright. I am Phoenix Wright, Missy. I'm a defense attorney. Look at my badge. Right, right. So not a rent boy? Okay, wait. You're the Phoenix Wright? 
the Phoenix Wright from the Edgeworth murder case? Miles Edgeworth's boyfriend? Um, yes, that is correct. He, it was an Edgeworth who was moited, though. Oh, crap, I pushed the wrong button. <laughs> That's a relief, then. You're better than nobody. God. Oh, God. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid I'm not taking any cases right now, especially with that attitude of yours. But you are Phoenix Wright, right? The undefeated defense attorney. Look, I'm not accepting any new cases. I'm sorry, but you're gonna have to try elsewhere. Please, I'm out of time. But... Please, you have to help. It's my sister, I love her more than anybody else in the world. Ugh. Oh, is she in trouble again? Never mind no, no, Maya, could it be? Ellipsis. Okay, I'll hear you out. Really? Thank you so much. My name's Emma, Emma Sky. I'm a scientific investigator. Scientific investigator? All right, girl. But let's... not like that one from that other case where she was actually just like a UFO journalist or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So let's. Uh, all right, Emma, girl. Let's let's talk about you first. Emma, was it? So you're a scientific investigator? Yes, that's right. Is something wrong? No. It's just you seem kind of a uh, jumpy, or maybe just young. Young. I'll be 16 years old this year. Oh, I see. Wait, only 16? I'm a genius. I'm set to be formally assigned in for forensics in three more years. My work is becoming well known. At my age, no less. So, what are you, exactly is your current position? Well, legally speaking. I guess you'd call me an 11th grader? But I'm ready to do my job, at my age, no less. Great, another future professional in training. Alright, let's talk about this case here. So, what's this about a case? You said there's a trial tomorrow? My sister didn't do it, of course. She wouldn't stab someone with a knife. She wouldn't. So, it's a murder case. case. I don't care if there's a witness who saw her do it. She didn't do it. I know she didn't do it. It's a scientific fact. And there's a witness. Just talk to her. You have to talk to her. Right. I suppose I will. I promised her I'd bring Mia Faye, but... That's interesting. How would she know Mia? Alright, let's talk about your profession here. So, you want to be a scientific investigator when you grow up, then... Excuse me? She already is grown up. I'm not a child, I'll have you know. Still, it's good to have a goal, albeit a very unusual one. I believe investigation should be done scientifically. I believe in the scientific method. Don't you? Uh, yeah. Sure, can't fault it for a lack of enthusiasm. If this hand case is handled scientifically, I'm sure my sister's name will be cleared. I thought we had been doing our cases, like, by contacting dead people and stuff. I mean, so this will be a good of case. only, like, in three instances, but... <laughs> But, it, but it's not like we asked <laughs> to be called, except for the last... We use well, we use some science. <laughs> yeah, you know. Support the science. So anyways, your sister. I've been doing research, you know. I'm developing a new scientific method of case investigation. I'll show you when I'm done. I'm looking forward to it. Guess I should get down to the detention center and talk to your sister. But also, let's talk about the relation to Mia. My sister asked for Miss Mia specifically. This Mia fake person was a few years below her in school. So they went to the same school, huh? She always told me to go to Mia if I ever needed a defense attorney. And well, I need one now. 
Um, incidentally, Mia is a woman. Now that you mention it, I guess it is more of a woman's name than a man's. Well, I try not to assume things, though. It's nice of you not to assume things, but help your sister out like this, so... Must be close. What? Well, it's complicated. Actually, when she gets like she is right now, I kind of hate her. So difficult. Huh? But... She's my only family. Your only family? What about your your mama and papa? They died in a car accident when I was little. Oh. I'm sorry. It's not oh a no, she family. suffers anime protagonist syndrome. Oh my <laughs> god. Alright, let's let's go to detention, everyone. It's just got two set big anime that we need to leave. February twenty second, detention. Well, she was still smiling. Is it, is it was only to hide the truth. Her name. I mean, she ain't so smiling here. Good. Look how anime sad she is. <laughs> hmm. I wonder what's wrong with Emma. Well, she just told you her parents died when she was a kid, and her sister's in jail. That's pretty sad, Phoenix. Yeah, that's pretty sad. <laughs> <laughs> she got quiet all of a sudden as soon as we arrived. I think Ooh, this... I can do this. Okay. Is this the sister? Uh -huh. Yeah. She's okay. like, uh... You'll, you'll see. Searchman. Guard, I thought I told you I didn't want visitors. <laughs> Sorry, well, it's just your sister. No excuses. Or did you not want to raise this year? Hmm? Damn. Oh, damn. Uh, I understood that. What was that all about? Char from... Gundam Wing? <laughs> no. Oh, is she like the the hairy uh, person from the Adams family? You know, she's just hair. Oh, jeez. <laughs> she's, she's got the cool pauldrons, though. I, I do I do get the Char reference. Very like military, it. space military. Very I'm digging the look. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Hi, Lana. Funny. I seem to remember specifically telling you not to come here. Uh, oops, sorry. Uh, there we go. Perhaps my memory is failing? Look. I didn't want to come here either, okay? But your trial's tomorrow and you still won't have a defense attorney. I'll be the one in court tomorrow. This has nothing to do with you, Emma. Oh, there she is. Isn't that right, Mr. Wright? How'd she know? Hey! How do you know me? Mia mentioned you. I've heard quite a bit. Uh, I'm sorry. What is it that you do? My name is Lana. Lana Sky. I'm chief prosecutor for this district. Y you're a prosecutor? Sisters, one lawyer. Could this be a coincidence? Emma, Anna, I mean, they're just like... Something wrong with the right? Alright. Alright, Goyle. Tell me about your situation with the case. There's something you should know from the start. Uh, which is? The suspect in this case has confessed to the crime. What? Wait, but the suspect, the suspect is you. Me. I did it. Well, Mr. Wright? Well, why didn't, don't you begin by telling me exactly what happened? The crime took place yesterday, February 21st, at 5.15 p.m. Why? That's quite specific. It was in the witness's desk position. A witness clearly saw me committing the crime. Uh... Why? That was a bit of a bad luck, wasn't it? Bad luck? Oh. The crime took place in the underground parking lot at the prosecutor's office. The body was found in the trunk of my subordinate's car. Prosecutor's office, huh? In your subordinate's oh, crap. car truck? Classy. I was arrested. Oh, God. Oh, my God. 
zombie. Right. Caught red-handed, as it were. Well, that's just great. Alright, tell me about this victim. So, who was the victim? Uh, an investigator with the police department. <gasps> Not gumshoe! Oh god. Oh god. I suppose the correct term is detective? No! A detective! Death was due to a loss of blood. He was stabbed once in the stomach. By you? Death wasn't immediate, but the wound was fatal. I see. Allow me to repeat myself, Mr. Wright. The victim was a detective. You know what that means, don't you? Uh-oh. Detective side? What, Mr. Wright? What does it mean? Your sister is screwed. Well, it means... The police department will consider it a matter of pride to have me found guilty. They will use any means at their disposal to do so. This case gets worse and worse with everything I learn. Alright, tell me about yourself, lady. So you're the chief prosecutor. That is correct. I'm responsible for overseeing every trial handled by the prosecutors in this district. I make sure the prosecutors have what they need to do the job and manage every aspect. Those are my responsibilities, in a nutshell. That's awfully a large nutshell. Still, I'm a little surprised. I would think you'd recognize the district's chief prosecutor, Mr. Wright. Huh? I only have eyes for one prosecutor. <laughs> In fact, it seems impossible that you wouldn't. Well, Lana... What's on her hand? What happened to your hand? Oh, this? I cut myself by accident. When I stabbed him, that is. Is... Huh? I'm not very good at being a criminal, I suppose. How am I supposed to defend this? Time to change the subject. Wait, she was in a class ahead of Mia, was she? Um, were you in school with Mia, correct? A few years above her? Emma told you that, too, did she? Well, why not? I did drag him all the way here from his office, where he's hiding. Although it seems he has very little in common with Mia. Hey! It was in law school. I was in my third year, and she was auditing class. She was different than the other students. Different? She was strong. She'd do anything to become a defense attorney. Anything. That was probably why she was attracted to me. Oh. I excuse what? Oh. <laughs> Intellectually attracted. Lana was the top of her class in school, plus also different types of attraction, but I don't want to know because you're my sister and that's girl. <laughs> and the top. I was the best Scientifically. there was. Scientifically, yeah. Oh. I'm doing pretty good in school, too, by the way. It sounds a bit different when Emma says it. Well, Mr. Wright? Uh, excuse me? As you can plainly see, I am admitting my guilt. I think it's safe to say, there's no way you can take this case. None. That hasn't stopped me before. <laughs> hmm. Why? Why are you doing this to me? Never think of anyone but yourself. Aww. I know you didn't do it, Lana, I know. So, how can you say that you did? If I lose you, I'll be all alone. I, I hate you, Lana. <gasps> Bitch, I'm out. Mr. Wright? <laughs> uh, yes? I believe our discussion here has ended. The rest, I leave to you. Honey? Um, you mean you're requesting my services as your defense? Don't lose any sleep over it. Your client has confessed, after all. The case is over. Right. I'll do what I can to get to the bottom of this. 
it's easily the most depressing case in the series so far. Lana has confessed to the crime, yes, but something doesn't fit. It's that look in Emma's eyes. There's something else going on here. I'm going to find out what. It was Emma. I'm sorry, Mr. Wright. What, how, what, what about? My sister, she's not always like that, you know. She's a good person, deep down. Ellipsis. I just never expected to be defending another prosecutor again. She's changed a lot, you know. She used to be so gentle, always smiling. Everybody liked her. I see. Sorry, but I'm having trouble imagining that. What happened to her? I don't know for certain myself. I think maybe she... Maybe not. Sounds like there's something there. Uh, something there that defies... it. Ah, sorry. <clears throat> This so sounds like something there there that defies a simple scientific explanation. Let's go check out the underground parking at the prosecutor's office, shall we? Okay. All right, to the Our underground characters. parking. Our character design looks exactly like Maya. Yeah, she has a little top bun. Her, her and Lana. Even, like, when you look at her sister, she looks exactly like Mia down to, yeah. like, the scarf. Mm -hmm. They're definitely playing up the comparison. Definitely. Alright. February 22nd, Prosecutor Office Underground Parking Lot. So, this is where the lot where it all happened. Looks like they're still investigating. Funny. That was my first visit to the Prosecutor's Office. Should be like this. Hey everyone, keep up the good work! Hey, what are you thinking? Well, they are going to be my co-workers three years from now and all. No harm in saying hello. Actually, there is. You know attorneys aren't supposed to examine crime scenes. I'm trying not to stand out too much here. See, I'm snooping. Uh. Oh, uh, I think I know the skin. Um... Hey there! Unless it's... You're expecting to go unnoticed to your partner? 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 What cowboy nonsense? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> what do we have here? Looks like a bambina got loose from the ranch and is up to no good. Folks gotta learn to keep them doggies tied down, partner. Excuse me? I feel like there was a reference to calling me like some sort of female dog and I'm not. Mr. Marshall. I literally have no idea what I just said. <laughs> I, think it, I think it was Doggy. There was only one G. The dog reference I super didn't like. Marshall, more, looks like more like a sheriff to me. Look at here, Bambina. I know how you feel. Bambina? But this is my gang's gold strap, see? This is our claim, our territory, with a mother load of evidence. If you're fixing the mess with what's ours, you'll regret it, partner. You know what dreams the cat be out in the desert dream? You want to? Like what an electric sheep what dream is? of? But <laughs> cat in the desert. Kind of do. <laughs> what's this guy talking about? Oh, he drank it. What is he on? <laughs> oh, you had a long home now. Happy trails, Bambina. He just becomes less, more and more incoherent as he drinks I more. think he drinks more absence as it goes, you know? Is that the prosecutor? <laughs> no, unfortunately. Oh. But I think you should take the prosecutor, Corey. <laughs> well, is that a hombre, a friend of yours? Uh, kinda, sort of, might be an ex. Yeah, he's a detective. <laughs> he's a uh, part of your fan fiction, is he? Who do you think is a sheriff? So Bambina is seems. informal for an attractive young woman from Italian. 
Ah. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense for like a Western guy. Okay. Um, <laughs> spaghetti it's Western. Very cultured, it's very cultured Western. I guess uh, so. sheriff guy. Yeah, definitely spaghetti Western. So. <laughs> anyway. So he's actually a detective then. So. Dressed as a cowboy. <laughs> Trying right. to act like a sheriff from the Wild West. All right. Who thinks he's a sheriff from the Wild West? It seems. All right, let's take a look at this big wallet. It's been in my face for quite a while here. What's this? A wallet? Um, excuse me, officer. Wait! What the hell are you doing, right? What am I doing? I just found this wallet, so I'm handing it over to the police. I don't believe it. This is real basic. Anything at a crime scene is evidence, and you shouldn't touch it. Let's be scientific about this, please. Just put it in your pocket. That, that's not a feeling. She's also a kleptomaniac. How is that <laughs> like scientific? <laughs> How is that scientific? Sounds like a theft to me. Like a goyle I know. Wallet hastily stuffed into the pockets. A foldable wallet found at the crime scene. There seems to be something inside. I'm called to duty already, and at my tender age... Here, I'll teach you the trick to examining evidence in full detail, okay? By the way her eyes are sparkling, I can tell she's been waiting Let me use this. my special glasses. Okay, Science okay time. now. Look at the court record. Alright, I'm looking. You have to be sure, sure to examine evidence carefully on all sides. Now let's start examining for, from every angle. Alright, uh... Oh, it's 3D? Oh, 3D models, nice. Alright, hold on. Uh, oh wow, weird. there went the budget. Can you pull out the money and put it in your pocket? Uh, you, can, you can open it if you inspect the button. The clasp. Ooh, look, I think there might be a clue here. Shouldn't we, like, dust for fingerprints or something? <laughs> it's oh. a little too late, I think we touched it with bare hands. You should check it out. Press enter. Okay. <laughs> Nobody in Japan, California has prints. This this is an ID card. Sergeant Bruce Goodman, ID number five eight four two one eight nine. See, well, police is this scientific investigation like totally useful? He also works at police department. Police department. <laughs> <Hmm>. <laughs> I guess, though I don't see what science has to do with it when I just simply open the wallet and pull out the ID. Very scientific. <laughs> Goodman ID added to the court record. Let's be sure to examine every piece of evidence we can find. I guess I gotta be on my toes from now on. Hey. I think it's interesting that she's trying to stay in the positive and her glasses literally have rose-like lenses. Ah, uh, she see everything rose glasses. Alright, uh... What's this? Tilted over an oil drum. Looks like it's filled with aqua. It's heavy. I can't even budge it. Drum I don't work out. Over here is on its side. Wait, wait. I know. I'll hide from here and do it. Stake out. I think you'll probably just get arrested. In fact, you might never have to hide in the drum to get arrested. I mean, you just stole a wallet. What? I'm not suspicious. All right. Uh, phone? You always have to inspect the letter. Here, a phone. <laughs> Let's see if it works. I like making phone. Where is the best step? Hey, don't touch stuff we don't need to be touching. <gasps> I can't hear anything. I've gone to death. My ears. No, my ears. Oh, maybe it's due to barometric pepper. Did I pop my eardrums? What is she babbling about? Hey, what did you just say? I said, oh, wait, what I can are you, hear you babbling about? See? You can hear me just fine. The phone is broken. Alright. What about this bad luck ladder? Aha! A ladder! Um, that's a step ladder. Very important difference. No, no, it's a very important. Scientific, huh? Look at the basic nature of things, Mr. Wright. This all seems so horribly familiar somehow. It's very important. Uh, what about this door? 
Look, a door! It must mean something! Doors open! I'm sure that means... Uh, I'm sure that door means anything. No, it won't open! A mysterious lock! I fail to see what's mysterious about it. Mr. Wright, you need to learn to enjoy more and also get a cool pair of rose-tinted sunglasses. Let's finish our investigation first, shall we? Oh, is there an ATM? Let's see. Yeah, what is that computer thing on the left? I tried to interact. It doesn't highlight. It's like a little thing on the ground. What's on the ground? That's an arrow. Yeah, this thing? Yeah, it's not highlighting. You can pan over, by the way. There's a whole bunch of stuff. What about this here? Security. Look, a stylish glass walled room. Very nice. You can see the whole parking lot from here. There. Oh, been up there. It says security. Maybe it's a cafe? Because I don't think things through. Huh? Cafe for security. Yeah, that must be it. Let's check that out later. I bet they have cool drinks. Um, I hate to break it to you, but I think that's probably just a security guard office. <gasps> you know, I scored a 97 in my science test the other day, but I'm not very good at common sense. Too bad they don't have a test for common sense. Oof. Alright. I think the door. This is where the cars leave the lot. The air on the ground makes it look like an entrance. What are you talking about? It's plainly an exit. Well, maybe it's both. Kinda like a dual purpose. Haha! -ha, the theory of relativity. Wait, That's huh? not good. I've got to write this down. Aha! Hey, hey, Mr. Wright! Maybe you know... Is Mr. Relativity German? Or was he British? She's Mr. Relativity? Are you somebody. referring to Albert Einstein or something? Are you sure that was his name? Let's see... Uh, I think I... Yep, this... This wall is in our way. We should knock it down. Oh, it's got a faucet for water. Wait, wait, I know. This wall is merely a facade. I don't know how to say that word. F uh, facade? Facade, yeah. Yes. Hiding it's the fine. truth. Harsh words. This is no wall, but a water tank. I fail to see how this makes any difference either way. Alright, I think maybe we can move on somewhere else. I just want to double check uh -huh. how they... I want to say we could. Oh wait! Oh, we could slide. Slide, slide, slide. Slide to the right. Oh, there's the actual. That makes more sense. Hey, look at this. I wonder whose car, uh, wonder whose car that is. Well, no time to waste. Let's get hunting for clues. Blues clues. <laughs> hmm. I wonder what this is. Oh, it's him again. Well, <laughs> well, partner. Looks like you got no intention of going home quietly. Shave my face the, the night. Sheriff, why you still have so much facial hair? <laughs> like I said before, this here's our claim. <laughs> you best be moseying along unless you're fixing to bite the bullet. Ah, Is that a threat? So scary. Oh, it's gonna be a second crime scene. Could, could you just tell us one thing? Who owns that super nice car? It's very red and beautiful. Well, I thought that was an inhaler at first. <laughs> I thought it was a vape. <laughs> like he's just checking the exactly smoke. Really... Like he's Dang. definitely either you know, like inhaling like fumes or drinking or both. Um, is there like a, a like a like stencil of a like, a, of a person's body just hanging oh, out the, the trunk? Yeah. The outline. Oh, it's like. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. That's <laughs> that's the way they did it because that's where the body was found. <laughs> Well, well, the little filly's got a good nose on her. Why do you keep on calling me an animal? <laughs> I don't know. Um, you want to know who rides that red Mustang with the body in her saddle, eh? Please stop calling me an animal. No, no problem, partner. <laughs> About time for Beatles, vitals anyway. Little. Get yourself to the saloon up on the 12th floor of the prospector's office. Might just find you a cerveza you like. Cerveza. Cerveza, damn it. Yeah. Isn't that beer? What? Yeah, yeah. I think it is. It is beer. Prosper, uh, prospector office. 
Where does this guy think he is? And when, for that matter? Note to self. Look up Vital, Vital Saloon and Cerveza. I think that's Possibly Spanish. I think that's Spanish. Middle. Spanish for beer. <laughs> Maybe we should check out room 1202, the High Prosecutor Office. In any case, stay away from the car. You can look around here all you like, just keep your paws off our claim. That's not what you said three minutes ago. Right. Great. Great, maybe there's some clues around here, Mr. Wright. Let's check it out. This one's a lady. Uh, I, Corey, do you want to get it? <laughs> I'm good. All right, what about you, Nick? I guess I can do it. Oh, man. You did a great oh, lot of work. Seth, you want to do it? I'll see Sarah, can you is. hear me? Yeah. I can hear oh, you. Oh, we got clear. Can do it. I think I know who this is. All right. Do it. Go for it. Peer pressure. Excuse me. Are you two all set? Us? Oh my. Oh dear. What's this? She couldn't be. You're selling lunches here? This is a crime scene, not a culinary. Hello, half and half, was it? Oh, uh, thanks. I didn't order anything. And you, sir? Uh, yes. Some crunchy goodness coming at you. Um, thanks. Uh, interesting way of doing business. This area is off limits to anyone without clearance. Especially passers-by. Or are you officers? I uh, know, but you... You don't look exactly like the type to have that sort of clearance. Not that I'm trying to make assumptions here. Oh, here are the clearance. That's hardly a way to greet someone. Even if my days as the cough-up queen are over. Cough-up? Huh? You know, I'm feeling kind of full. Maybe I'll pass on that lunch there. I'm quite connected to this case, you see. Images are burned into my eyes, you might say. Yes, all the sordid secrets. Uh, secrets? Oh dear me, you are a slow one, aren't you? I'm referring to the murder, stabbing of that detective. It was me. Wait. What? I just realized your charm looks like those hot dog wieners when they turn them to octopuses. A witness clearly saw me committing the crime. You mean you're the witness my sister was talking about? Please, cough up, Queen. Tell us what happened. Name is Angel Star. But you go forgetting it. Before you know it, I'll have you whimpering at my heels. Y yes, madam! Yep. Yipes, he means it. Alright, girl, let's have a talk about this case you're talking about. Somehow, I knew. Yesterday was a day of destiny. I knew something was going to happen. Just like I know that the daily special on Friday every week is salmon. Destiny? Is yesterday special for some reason? You're a defense attorney, right? You should know then. And know the foul misdeeds of the evil ones who haunt this den of inequity. Evil, evil ones? Prosecutors, 
I have no qualms at all about blackening the name of innocence. And yesterday, they paid homage to the most evil one of all. They gave an award for King of Prosecutors. What a farce. So, she's saying... There was some sort of prosecutor's convention yesterday. I was almost compelled to lace their lunches with something foul. Oh my gosh. Damn. Yo, lady, do you have a personal grievance against prosecutors or something? What's your deal? Also, you shouldn't have eaten that earlier, Emma. Or is there some kind of scientific evidence of this quote-unquote evil? Young miss. Ask me at your own risk. We'll soon find out why they call me the cop of queen. Is the food laced with Ictapac? A what? Ew. Most heinous of all the evil ones, the one they awarded yesterday. It was in his car that they found the body. Proof that he devours the evilest lunches of all. What? Really? I don't understand. Really what? I'm totally confused as heck, man. One thing is clear, this lunch really has a thing against prosecutors. I hope oh. it's Edward. <laughs> oh god, what you witness? So what is it that you witnessed, Miss Star? It was a fascinating spectacle to be sure. I now feel I know what they say when they talk about a woman's wrath. See Lana Sky wield that knife so. Huh? Knife flashed in anger, bringing him to a sad end. It's truly a sight to see. Y you mean you saw the very moment of the crime? The sound of his silvery ties to this world being cruelly cut still rings in my ears. Yeah. The rhythmic beat of Lana Sky's knife. Is she? What? Wait a second, you know Lana Sky? Of course, it's quite a feat, becoming Chief Prosecutor. How many lunchboxes of sin did she pack to make that journey, I wonder? Uh, oh, well, she always travels light, so... Maybe not a lot. Now why would this pretty lunch lady know the Chief Prosecutor's name? Angel. Um, could we ask you a bit about yourself, Mrs. Star? Come here every day to sell lunches. Import only the freshest and best from the Far East. For some reason, the box lunches are a hit here. Why not just make the lunches here rather than import them? Uh, did you say something? No, I guess not. Only like, true connoisseurs can understand. The kind you can only tell someone who has tried General Sow's Perlobite lunch set. Uh, never mind. Do you win? I guess that looks pretty good. I don't even want to appreciate the part of the Trillbite's flavor. Anyway, I come here every day to sell lunches. My boyfriend works in the security room here at the prosecutor's office. Your 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 boyfriend? In the security room over there? Glass wall booth? I sell my lunches, and since I'm here anyway, I drop in to see him. Since you're here anyway, I guess selling lunch is more important than romance. So, to scientifically analyze all the data available just so far, you, Mrs. Star, are a lunch vendor with an ulterior motive for coming here. Useful analysis. 
not. All right, let's talk about this prosecutor office. Did you have bad experiences with a prosecutor, Miss Star? I sense some hostility. Hostility? Huh. Perhaps. Prosecutors are all alike. The bigger they get, the worse they smell. Kind of like ten day old clams in the chowder. I wonder if Miss Star is involved in some sort of legal trouble in the past. Probably food poisoning or something. That'd be a sure cause of food poisoning, scientifically speaking, of course. That sounds like staff. <laughs> I mean, now you're talking, cough up queen. I thought she was just a lunch vendor, but now I'm not so sure. Alright. Do you want to present the ID we found? See if she knows the guy? Sure. Alright. How about this card? Land vendors only accept cash, no cards. Especially not a card belonging to someone else. Oh no, this isn't a credit card, it's an ID card. It belongs to a detective. And you're showing this to me, the lunch lady, why? It's like showing a fine honeyed ham to a detective. Why do I just feel I like I'm being on. mocked? Not the All best right. option. <laughs> Alright. I mean, sometimes the best options are the only the worst options to advance a storyline. So, Alright, so we can go to the High Prosecutor Office while we add it. Oh god, I already know who this is. Oh man, who could it be? Alright, <laughs> February 22nd, High oh. Prosecutor's Office, room 1202. The Steel Samurai in the background. He actually is a fan. Mm -hmm. This is the kind of room that screams, I can do the job and I look fabulous. Quite a change from your dingy office, really. Wow, burn. Wow, <laughs> Thanks. Look, look, look. There's a trophy or something here. It's like King of Fighters. A trophy? What's that? A shield? Hmm, looks like Zelda. It takes real nerve to display stuff like this. Must be a nerd. Zelda? Whoever office this is, they must be a real stuck-up jerk. <laughs> but you can't even stand them. Alright. Phoenix Wright? You never tire of prying into other people's businesses, do you? That voice. Hey. Long time no see, Edgeworth. Huh? Ah, I totally didn't realize your boyfriend was here, Mr. Edgeworth! Nani? Um, you know him from somewhere? The theory of fiction. <laughs> I'm his biggest fan after you, probably. He's in my fan fiction. My sister introduced us once, and I knew. Right, her sister's also a shipper of the chief prosecutor after all. Well, what brings you here? I'll warn you, I've been known to be a real stuck-up jerk. No, 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 did I, did I upset you? No, it's gonna ruin my fanfiction. It was just Mr. Wright here, he's definitely meant to be with you. Hey, don't blame me. We're just here to investigate a murder case. Murder? A body was found in this nasty, bright red sports car that only someone totally obnoxious would drive that was in the parking lot. Hmm? Is it that would be my car. Oh my God. What of it? What? Your car? I'll say one thing. She can certainly... Ah, she can certainly can't scream. Alright. Alright, Edgeku. Let's talk about this case here. So, a body was found in your car. Go ahead and say it right. You think I did it, don't you? No. After you went through all that trouble to help me last year, no less. No, 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 we don't think you did it. I mean, it was my sister who stabbed him. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, wait, no, she didn't do that. I mean, I'm so confused. Wait. 
So you're the chief prosecutor's little sister, then? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Emma Sky. It, um, uh, it's nice to meet you again. You clearly don't remember me, and that's really sad. Oh, that didn't sound forced at all. Ah, now I remember. You've really grown. I'll admit, it was a surprise for me, too. To think that my own car would become the scene of a murder. You like my car? No. More surprising I still. I went with your boat. I'm being forced to prove my superior's guilt. I can understand. Isn't that like a conflict of interest and they wouldn't have you do it? I don't... Hey, right? <laughs> I can understand. W wait, what did you say? Lana Sky is the chief prosecutor, the top prosecutor in the district. She can't prosecute herself, so I'll be the prosecutor at the trial tomorrow. You, Mr. Etchworth? Heartbroken. Oh, God. Opposing right. sides again. <laughs> He's being the edge in Edgeworth. To be honest, it's a bit of a miracle I'm still here at all. What do you mean? Rumors. You've heard the rumors about me, haven't you? Miles Edgeworth. It's hard to remember there when there weren't rumors about this guy. Forging evidence, raging false testimony, illegal searches, you name it. Thanks to you, my innocence was established in the trial at the end of last year. However, there are some who say I'm the one responsible for the current incident. But what? That's crazy! Hmm. Some people need very little excuse to think ill of others. It's a fact of life. Impossible to stop. But, but, but my fanfiction! Some of them even go so far as to present me with toys like this. They think it's funny. Toys? That bronze shield? There's gonna be a story behind that one. Let's talk about a lot of Sky. Chief Prosecutor Sky? Yes, we worked together on a case two years ago. It was my first big case. That's right, I remember. Two years ago, I wasn't even a lawyer yet. Since then, I always felt that she was looking out for me. It appears I was mistaken. Mis mistaken But why? I mean, I know she's not the warmest person. But I'm sure she felt some responsibility for you as her... kind of student. Then, why? Why did she stab someone in the trunk of my car? Not only that, she stabbed him with my knife. Wh what Mr. Edgeworth? Your knife was the murder weapon? Why do you just have random knives? To be specific, it was the knife I keep in the toolbox in the trunk of my car. <laughs> That's not sketchy at all. Edgeworth's knife added to the courtroom record. The murder weapon, usually in Edgeworth's, uh, Edgeworth's toolbox, traces a victim. Honestly, it's setting up to look like someone was trying to frame Edgeworth and Lana is <laughs> trying to cover for him. Oh god, not again. <laughs> Alright, but this thing has no prints. Um, Edgeworth? As this long as there are hand prints, or whatever it was <laughs> on the gun last. What? Are you sure you didn't do it? Dude! How dare you? Come on, you can't take a joke? You have a strange sense of humor, Mr. Wright. That's not how you talk to your boyfriend. <laughs> Alright, do you happen to know about this idea of this individual? Say, Edward, I was wondering about this. Mr. Wright! Huh? What? Are you sure Whoa. you should be showing that to Mr. Edgeworth? Oh. Called out. Yeah, you, he'll take it for sure, you won't. <sighs> you suck. I wish I could be the same side as Mr. Edgeworth. But then my sister would be totally be found guilty and I can't have that. And if she sighs any deeper, I'm starting I'm going to start getting depressed. Alright, let's not do that then. Or actually, let's peep around this room here. Look at 
this K. I've been wondering, what the heck is this? Congratulations. It has a big K on it. I'm very smart. I know my letters. Prosecutors. Huh? King of Fighters? What? What was that? It's the King of Prosecutors trophy. Oh god. King of Prosecutors? It's a great honor. They send that shield to the best prosecutor each year. What? So? So that K, that's... K stands for King, then? Very smart. Yeah, you got a problem with that? I didn't design the thing. It seems to be damaged. King of Prosecutors. It's kind of like employee at the month at McDonald's, but only better. Slightly. King of Prosecutor trophies added to the courtroom record. Even Edgeworth and King of Prosecutors at the PD on the day of Moida. Alright. Uh, what about this fancy outfit here? <laughs> wow, that jacket is even lacier than the usual ones. This must be his lucky trial jacket. Lucky jacket, or right. Jacket. I never see him wear it. Sure, there's a story why it's in the frame. Maybe he's just saving it for a special date. Maybe I'll be naughty. Take a picture for my fanfiction. Naughty? She's getting way too excited about this. I want to know about the flower pot. Yeah, sure. My, my, my. What an amazing bouquet. Just right for Mr. Edworth. He clearly has his admirer. No kidding. Hey, there's a card on it. Back from the dead. Wendy. Wendy Oberg? Wendy. I've heard that name somewhere before. And beside it, giant steel samurai! Wow, I want one! Huh? There's something written on the bottom of this foot. Between a rock and a hard place. Wendy. God! <laughs> She has to oh, she thinks... Beyonce? I thought he had a- I thought it was your boyfriend. She better do something. She is devastated. Yeah, um, that was old back though. <laughs> I don't think so, but if it's true, I'm gonna fucking kill her. But... <laughs> Alright, let's see. What else can we look at? On your man. I, is this... the chest set? Yeah. It seems suspicious. Hey, a chessboard! I'm not too up on my chest, but it looks like blue is a bit in a tight spot. The red knights have surrounded the blue pawn. Huh? Those horses are mountain knights. Their swords have really sharp edges. Lol. Uh. And check out that poor pawn. His head is kind of spiky. That's kind a little creepy, Edgeworth. You. Mr. Edgeworth must be an avid chess player. What's wrong, Mr. Wright? Edgeworth, rubbing a pawn with spiky hair. Nah, it's nothing. It's probably he wants to suggest this for the next Holy Fan session. Where he really likes, like, Code Geass. It's like a metaphor for the state of the trial or something. Alright, let's see. So, what about Slater? Oh, yeah, yeah, the Whoa, ladder. these are all case files? There's so many. They're stacked up to the ceiling. There's even a ladder. Odd. I thought Edgeworth wasn't really good with heights. He must have someone get them for him. Maybe like Gumshoe. <laughs> God damn. Aww. Aww. Strange. Why did I just picture Detective Gumshoe? You must study these case reports so closely. He's so cool. Not like you. Say that when he's sweating up bullets up in that ladder. Right. T set? Uh, we can look at this K again. It has, it has a check mark on it. Okay. So that's the King of Prosecutor's Shield, huh? Done, well, Edward. You must be proud of the King of Prosecutors. Congratulations, King of Prosecutors! Please, stop saying that. That still doesn't explain one thing. Why is the tip of the shield broken off? Yeah, it looks damaged. 
Uh, the desk? Yes. That's true. Looks like you gave the shield an edge. <laughs> oh. I worked desk. It's quite tidy as one might expect. What a nice desk. Easy to use and easy on the eyes. Kinda like somebody I know. It's polished so well I can see my own reflection. Oh. Strange. Why did I just put the picture Detective Gumshoe? Maybe I'll take that name plaque as a superhero um, because I like to steal things. No, don't. He'll sue you. Alright. Well, the better doesn't let you. Uh, uh, yeah, the T set? Yep. Ooh, cute. What a pretty T set. I go for. Uh, sorry. I go more for the instant tea bags myself. Amazing! The drawer below is filled with packets of tea leaves from all over the world. They're all sorted by place of origin and flavor. Look at this royal blend. What an exquis exquisitely splendid concoction. Whoever. There's such, the, there's such a thing as take, uh, taking a hobby too far. I uh, guess that's all we have. Yeah, oh, the, the couch itself? Uh, uh, it looks like a little. Yeah. I don't know what we're gonna find. Mr. Ezra has such a comfy sofa. Sofas like this makes you want to curl up and take a nap. Betty pours over his case files until the wee hours of the morning. Mmm, this makes me think of a good fanfiction prompt. Then he takes off his jacket, rolls up his sleeves, and fights you over. <laughs> and goes to sleep using your arm as the pillow. Oh, wow. Well, I don't uh, believe it. She's actually daydreaming about Edgeworth, like, cuddling with me. I bet in the morning he has soft hair and little creases in his cheeks from the seams. He's so cool! So like, the hair is cool? <laughs> Scientifically speaking, of course. Alright, maybe... Oop, wrong button. I think that's uh, it. Maybe we can present him about the shield. He's kind of, like, not really happy about it, so... Let's see. So basically, to say is you were the best of the best last year, huh? You can take that foolish grin elsewhere, right? I lost a day of work to receive that travesty. Huh? Why is that? I had to go to the police department to receive that broken shield. Wait, it was already police broken? Department. Yes, right next to the police station downtown. You've been there, haven't you? Where? Detective Gumshoe works? Yeah. Um, I was wondering something about your shield. Why is it broken? Like your heart. What does it matter? I've got more important things to worry about. Oh, right. Okay. He doesn't seem too concerned about his award for better or for worse. Yesterday was a very busy day for the prosecutor's office. Maybe we should ask him more about yesterday. Alright, so any more options? Yeah, here we go. Can you tell me more about yesterday, the day of the murder? Yesterday was the annual cleaning day at the prosecutor's office. Cleaning day? What? Working with the police department, we sort and file all evidence for salt cases. We call it evidence transferal. Wiping your ha hands of old cases, in other words. Oh, and another thing. A ceremony was held at the police department. There's an, there, there's an annual review and awards for outstanding police officers and prosecutors. That's and, that's when, you, and that's when you got the shield. I was at the police department yesterday afternoon. I got back here at 512. That's very precise. People like myself, Mr. Edgeworth, prize ourselves on our precision, precision, Mr. Wright. You just wouldn't understand. No, I place little faith in my memory. The only thing I trust is solid evidence. Edgeworth parking stub added to the court record. Uh, record of the parking lot prosecutor's lot, entry at 12, uh, 5.12 p.m. This is the parking stub from the underground lot. Part of took place around 5.15. 
the murder happened right after you got back. What, right? I'd appreciate it if you direct that suspicious glare elsewhere. Uh, I don't know who this is. Um... Uh, oh, I can do it, I guess, if it's a new character, but... Sounds new. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um... Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, perfect. Oh, he's so attentive. Excuse me, but is Mr. Edgeworth uh, anywhere on the premises? I'm Edgeworth. What is it? I'm here, sir, at the request of the chief. Sir, I've got your report. Sir? Report? What? Did you find new evidence in the case against Chief Prosecutor Sky? I don't like the way this conversation is going at all. Uh, uh, Sky, is it? Uh, sir. No, sir. The name of that? No name of that kind, sir. Uh, not in this report. Sir! I think I just heard Edward Lidl. Mr. Edward's lid isn't on very tight, is it? I made a clear request to the police department, did I not? I need to focus on the trial tomorrow, so don't bring me anything unrelated. Sir, uh, but sir, sir. I I'm just following orders. Uh, sir, they told me to bring this to you. I wasn't aware of the particulars of your arrangement. <laughs> Give me your name. Uh, uh, sir, yes, sir. It's, uh, me, 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 me Meekins, sir. Uh, <laughs> Officer Meekins. It is. Right, Officer Meekins, take your report and leave. And good luck with like that raise next month. Damn. Don't raise. Oh. Oh. <laughs> sir. Sir, I, I didn't know. Interesting, he's injured on one hand, kind of like someone else we saw. He's holding like a fortune charm. <laughs> his, um, the logo on his hat thingy, uh, was the same as that, that cowboy guy's? Probably work at the yeah. same police department, police department. Yeah, the police department. The police department, yeah. That's right. So, uh, alright. Poor guy. He looks like he was absent on the day they gave out his- <clears throat> gave out brains and good luck. Thanks, it's so mean. <laughs> right. Y yes sir. God, he caught me off guard. As you can see, I'm busy. You may leave now. Let's what he do what he says, Mr. Wright. The victim was a detective from the same department as the patrolman just now. Go down to the police department. You can ask more there. Uh, uh, yeah, thanks. He seems to have finally calmed down at least. Guess he likes being cold star. Alright, let's go to the parking lot. Alright, hello girl. I'm just gonna just go to the police department. February 22nd, police department entrance. Oh, that character, he's that's part of it. I remember him from the cutscenes. Okay, he, he looks very suspicious, I bet it's his fault. Woo, we're finally here. By the cult of the blue goblin. Why would they put the police department so far away from the prosecutor's office? That seems impractical. Beats me. They took almost 30 minutes by taxi. The traffic was even that bad. Police department, huh? All we've been to a criminal fair next door. Hold on, what's that? It's creepy. Oh, it's CGI. It's feeling my soul. Why is one of its eyes? Something's not right. Disturbing. Why does it undulate like that? Yeah, it's like damaged on. Oh top. wait, I know this. It's the blue band. It's weird. I'm trying to make him the. Uh, it's got a handprint. Wow, Mr. Wright, you sure know a lot about the police. You hang out a lot with the police? Still, he, he does seem familiar somehow, like I've seen him in my nightmare. Get the blue badger. Not next to him. Someone appears to be dancing with the blue badger, which makes it all the more disturbing. Uh-oh, he noticed me. I'm scared. Oh, you sure running over here fast. Oh, God. Wants to be gone. Who's gone to? Um, I think Zach. It was, changes. It, it changes, but like Zach was I'll the last time I voiced him. Hey, pal, <laughs> what are you doing here? Hey, that's my blind detective, Gumshoe. Specifically, why were you dancing with that thing? 
It's not a what? crime. Um, well? Uh, at least he doesn't seem to be busy. That's our chance to get the info. Hey! A lot of you know I'm a very busy man, pal! Busy enough to dance, I see. Alright, let's have a, let's have a powwow talk here. Case. I'll give you one word of advice, pal. You'd better not agree to defend the suspect in this case. Uh, why not? Huh? Well, it's just that the chief prosecutor has confessed to the crime. She says she summoned the detective to the prosecutor's office and she killed him. What if she's not telling him the truth? Yeah, yeah well, yeah. no. Come on, Belle. There's plenty of evidence against her. Hey, pal, can I speak to you for a second? Huh, me? Why is this little girl so peeved at me? He's a relative of the suspect. He's Lana's guy's sister. Whoa! The chief prosecutor's little sister? Just please, please investigate this case carefully, okay? Totally scientifically. With rose-colored glasses. Yes, sir! Oh, by the way. You might want to keep your voice down. You don't want to be overheard using words like fate. Huh? It's just... It's a sensitive issue with these, these with us these days. Alright, let's talk about this investigation. So, what are you doing here, Detective Gun Schuster? Me? Oh, uh, well, nothing really. They kicked me out of the criminal affairs. Damn. Why? What did you do this time? What do you mean this time? Then, what happened? Is it because you're too honest and good? I know things are busy right now. I mean, with my sister's case and all. It's true. We've never had a chief prosecutor murder anyone before. Only the highest ranked people are being let into criminal affairs now. The lowest ranking guy in there was our chief of detectives. They're not letting any of us rank and file detectives in at all. None of you. I know this is a poor trial, but isn't that a little odd? So anyway, I thought I'd spend the day getting the Badger Dance down pat. Um, isn't there literally anything else in the world that you could be doing instead? The chief of police himself is directing this investigation, pal. And Officer Marshall was assigned to the underground parking lot. Officer Marshall. Now that I think about it, Emma seems to know that Marshall guy. A patrolman in charge of a crim crime scene is unheard of, pal. You happen to know anything about the shield here? Oh, I can take a look at it, actually. Uh, cool 3D rendering. 3D uh, render. Cool. Oh. Hey. Oh, it has. Ooh. Something. Oh, that's like a... Can we walk this... closer? Hey, check it, check it out. There's a metal plate right here. You may have, like, the previous winner's name on. Huh? Yeah, like oh, okay. How about that? Wow. One guy's listed a bunch of times. Oh, Von Karma. Ooh. I guess he must be a foreigner. Uh, yeah, that's probably it. Well, wherever he's from, he must have been some sort of amazing prosecutor. I'd like to meet this Mr. Von Karma sometime. You want to give up on that. But when she says it, his name does kind of ring of, has a ring into it. Alright, uh, anything else? Uh, yeah. Can we look at where it's broken? I'm trying to highlight it, it's so. not highlighting oh, like it. The it highlights would, like, that, see? Yeah. It would turn yellow if it yeah. was something else. Mm -hmm. Can we do the front of it where there's writing, or no? Uh, it would highlight little, that. Right? Yeah, oh, okay. See, would it would see that. Uh, oh, well. Okay. Uh, Can we show the detective badge to him? Maybe he'll recognize the dude. Oh, Possibly. Goodman's ID? Because he did mention about Goodman, so... Um, 
Wait, can I look at my stuff? We can show him our attorney's badge again for the Oh, underscore. that's how our attorney's badge is. Oh, we can look at it. Oh, wait, it has a number? Something. And look at little... So this is what the back of the badge looks like. We learned how did we it. not know this? And learning is half the battle. Oh, we thought it had a safety pin. Each man had a number carved into it. That way you can tell which attorney it belongs to. You mean you couldn't just lend your badge to anyone? No. No, uh, it'd be fine right, uh, find out right away. Well, that's no fun. What if I want to be a lawyer for a day? Um, no, you, you'll get in trouble. <laughs> seems if you highly do. illegal. Yeah. Alright. It's, uh, anything else we can look at? Behind this ID. Ooh. Uh, uh, Police department. Hey, can I rotate this? Can you? Oh yeah. Okay. It has a. Oh, you think? The name and ID is written. Sergeant Bruce Goodman. That number again. I wonder why they only use numbers for IDs. What else could they use it? Numbers and letters. Letters, silly. They're the reason we have a wit and language in the first place. Sure. And to have a strong password, you should have letters, numbers, and special symbols. Sergeant, Sergeant Bruce Goodman, ID Yabba Dabba Dabba. See? Wouldn't that be better? No. Yabba Dabba Dabba? But it's like it's, uh, it does have a certain ring to it. Exactly my point. Tee hee. I'm so smart. It doesn't take much to amuse her. Alright, well, that's about it for that one. How about we the suspicious it, right? knife? Uh. Oh, jeez, it still has, like, wet blood on it. Can you not move it? I think it's carrying around. <laughs> this must uh, be the victim's blood, right? You can only do it. Either that or right. Edgeward cut himself peeling an apple. Uh, What's Edgeward doing with a knife like this anyway? Hey, maybe he spent his weekends roughing it up in the wild. <laughs> and doing Edward, other things. In the wild? I think my... Are you kidding me? I always pictured him as an outdoorsman. Now that's a scary thought with your fan fiction there. <laughs> Alright. Uh what about this receipt? Yep. How's oh, that word seventeen twelve? That's the date of the day of the crime. The murder. Took place three minutes after Edgeworth parked his car. If only he was held up at a couple extra red lights. He wouldn't have been caught up in this whole affair. Perhaps. It just goes to show you'll never know what happens when you run a yellow light. I don't know how sad. <laughs> Alright, let's now present this here. Um, Detective Gumshoe, can you tell me about this? Huh? Hey, pal, this is a detective's ID card. You can't just keep that, you have to turn it into the police. It's people like you that get me in so much trouble all the time. Meaning Detective Gumshoe must drop his card a lot. Hmm, let's see, Bruce Goodman. Goodman? Sounds familiar. Nah, my mistake. Whoa, well, now I remember! <laughs> Bruce Goodman! He's ah, the Bruce victim. Goodman. <laughs> That's what I thought. Can you tell us more, Detective Gunshu? Please? Alright, let's talk more right. about this Goodman here. So, this ID belonged to the victim. He was a detective like myself. Detective Bruce Goodman. Hmm. Don't you think it's strange, though? I mean, why would the victim's ID card be lying on the ground where we found it when he was supposed to die in the car? Well, Detective Goodman should have been at the police department yesterday. There was an evidence transfer for a case he handled two years ago. Evidence transfer? Mr. Edgeworth mentioned that, too. But... 
Detective Goodman was killed at the prosecutor's office. Well, that's the thing. It's hard to say this, but... Word is that Chief Prosecutor Scotty called him out there to the parking lot. Anna confessing as much. Alright, uh... I think that's all we got from him, unless we, can we present maybe the... Because he got this, right? This one? Yeah, show that. Maybe he knows why it's broken. Hey, that's it! That's the King of Prosecutors Award that Mr. Edgeworth got yesterday. Were you, were you at the award ceremony, Detective Gumshoe? Of course, pal. I got an award for diligence myself. Uh, uh congratulations! I was wondering, why is the ward a shield? And why is it broken? And and why is it busted broken? Yeah, prosecutors oh, aren't there's like... a reason. Yeah. Uh, there's a reason. Um, I'll tell you what it is later. Man, he's forgotten. I mean, I would think a sword for prosecutors, but because they protect people from dangerous people by putting them in jail? I... But I was proud of Mr. Edgeworth for winning that award. Even all the naysayers at the prosecutor's office. I'm a big fan. Naysayers? It's because of the rumors. I don't think defendants would get a shield. Yeah, that's... He said it's a story to the broken shield. Is that everything? Hold on. Can we examine the... This guy here? That thing is going to haunt my dreams. The most suspicious oh, suspect. About that. Oh, it has handprints on it. my darkest nightmares. It has a handprint on it. Oh, yeah, yeah, under the eye. That was his other murder victim. What? The dancing blue badger? It's my masterpiece. That explains a lot. Uh, he made the detective is he waving around like a police baton? Seriously? Like, looks like he's it. He's so messed up. I thought it was like the little like signal sticks they do for the night. You know? I mean, that would be less like violent. The, the... No, it looks more like a it looks more like a police truncheon. Anyways, come sure. The, th the chief threw together some designs, and I just did my thing, pal. N nice work, bro. It's battery powered, so it can go anywhere. There's no switch, so it just dances and dances until the batteries die. It's kind of nice. Sad. I, mean, I think that's like a lot of servos and like motors. Like, he does a good job. Poor Mr. Blue Badger, fated to dance until he drops. Like some sort of horrible, like, fairy tale. Yeah, Blue Badger had to keep over. Alright, I guess it's about. It. I don't see anything out of the ordinary wise. Uh, maybe you can present the badger, see if you can talk more in detail about it. Or maybe, well, we can't really inspect it, other than the picture of it. So, present. As a detective, I have to keep my mouth shut on that one. The badger? I know better than to go blabbing about things I don't know about. No, you just I... said you built it. No, I wouldn't want you to do that either. Good. I guess that's it. Unless maybe we can go back to the parking garage, see if it, the guy moved away, maybe. Oh. Can't slide to the right yet, so. Or maybe we can go back to the detention center. Oh, she's not there. <laughs> maybe we have to go back to the office? Maybe. Nope. Uh, no, not at all. Maybe, Where do we go? Maybe... Talk to one lady again? Yeah, why don't you present the new stuff to her? Oh, is she still there? Yeah, she's still yeah, there. she's there. Yeah. We just saw her. Yeah. Uh, what do you want to present, though? But, like, yeah, what would we... I mean, she, the parking, parking the stuff, maybe. What about, about the, the parking board. ticket stuff? Yeah, the parking stuff might make awesome. sense if she was actually there at that time. Could you take a look at this? You. Uh, yes. You said you wanted some hot tea, right? Oh, uh, maybe no, not. but thanks. She didn't even look at me. Mmm, I 
I don't question creepy people, so I just take food from strangers. You must have brewed the, the leaves for a long time to get a rich river like this. Tea leaves. Oh, geez, she's gonna get full. She's gonna tie. We pre infuse the leaves with steam before brewing. What? I knew it, so that's the secret to their aroma. Exquisite. The only thing of smelling here is wasted time. Yeah, that's not gonna give us anything. Uh, I think we're the ward. She's talking about the ward. Maybe. And she apparently hates Edward, so anything with this? Edward. No, yes, said you want oh, God. Tea. Yeah, we already had this conversation. Maybe the knife, because it belongs to Edward? Oh, I don't know. Threaten her with the knife. Um, no. <laughs> it's not already <laughs> Uh, let's see. Maybe, are we forgetting something with Gumshoe, maybe? That's my best guess. Let's go back to Gumshoe. Or, can we go back to the office? No, I think Edgeworth oh, wanted you gone. out. Yeah, he did. Uh, just wanted to check at least. Let's go to the police department again. Maybe we need to present something with Gumshoe. Uh, was there anything we didn't present yet? The burden uh, stuff? We didn't show the knife for like this. Maybe he knows anything about the knife. Uh, Just learned a cop with a knife. Found in Mr. Edwards' claw, stabbed with Mr. Edwards' knife, huh? What would drive Chief Prosecutor Scott to do such a thing? Wait, I didn't mean. Wait, I mean, sure, of course, someone else really did it. Someone must have. Um. Someone who must have a grudge against Mr. Edgeworth. The car and the night do seem a little well organized to be coincidence. Poor Mr. Edgeworth. What could have happened? We have to find out a little more what's going on with Edgeworth. Oh, I guess we gotta go see him now. Possibly. Let's see with that cue. Not here. Nope. Damn it. Uh, nothing out of the ordinary. Doesn't look like nothing out oh, of the ordinary. Oh, uh, the chair? It looked like it turned yellow. I think that's I, mean, I don't know that we'll get anything. Work desk is quite tidy, was what I'm expecting. Oh, I thought yeah, I if we'd already seen already, this dialogue. I already saw this, yeah. I think it refreshes when you come back here. Oops. That's fine. Uh, um, he's rose. Do we just have to check oh, everything? Oh. Oh, oh, oh. He was in a tough spot again. Yeah. Well, it all started with the murder, murder of defense attorney Hammond. But Mr. Edgeworth was found innocent because he's totally innocent. Listen, pal, there have been there have always been rumors about Mr. Edgeworth. Forging evidence, making deals with witnesses. Nothing outright, but there were always whis whispered rumors. Ever since he was accused of murder, no one's whispering. They're practically shouting. But 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 there's no evidence against him. Well, Mr. Edgeworth has always had unusually strong ties to department higher ups. It's only natural that people would be suspicious. I had no idea who's under the gun. Anyway, this latest case has started a new rumor. People say the only reason he took this case is because he's aiming for chief prosecutor position himself. Ah, uh, shit. W what? But I know the truth, pal. Nobody wants to be the one who has to prosecute the chief prosecutor. Mr. Edgeworth is the one is biting the bullet on this one. He's doing this for all of us. And that's all I know about that. I'm not officially on the case, you know. Thank you for your honesty. You're a good man. Why aren't you handling the case, Detective Gumchu? That the guy who is what's his name? The guy in the parking lot. That'd be Officer Marshall. He was appointed directly by the chief of police. Officer Marshall. Suspicious. Is he kind of some wild west sheriff or something? 
You no, know, Jake Marshall's just a regular officer. From West LA. For a moment there, I wasn't sure. Look, West pal, Tokyo, LA. To... <laughs> Look, pal, let me try to make things a little easier for you. Show them this and they'll let you examine the crime scene. Maybe. Oh. Has some X crossed out on that one. I'm not surprised if this gets us anywhere. Just act like you're supposed to be there, and no one will look at you twice, pal. Alright, let's go take a look at that uh, car that we can't take a look at earlier. Yeah, there's that some way. blackmail. <laughs> February 22nd, the prosecutor <laughs> office underground parking lot. Looks like the investigation is still going. Uh, that? I think that's lunch lady again. I think again. it's lunch lady. Uh, I have to be getting back to the shop. That's somebody else. Yeah. Uh, that's Marshall? Uh, that's definitely Marshall the way he speaks. <laughs> uh, Zach, what happened, buddy? I think he's quiet. Uh, I guess I'll... Uh, that explains everything! <laughs> <laughs> I've been doing it this whole time, my god. Um, oh, no. <laughs> uh, sorry, it looks like it'll... Sorry, it looks like I'll be stuck in this pit till the sun sleeps. I'll see you in my dreams tonight, then, baby. Oh, still here? Oh, uh, hello! Did we intrude on a moment? Didn't mean to interrupt. I have a surprise look. Didn't I mention? I've got a boyfriend in criminal affairs, too. Oh my. My boyfriend's uh, uh, He's one of those no ladies. Is it going no. after her jelly donuts from her hat, I guess? Well, my boyfriend can beat up your boyfriend. <laughs> what happened to the security guard? Hey, what's wrong, Bambina? You're looking like a doggy that's lost a turn. First of all, dogs Jake don't have Marshall. herds. What about shep sh shepherd dogs? Strange guy to be in charge of the crime scene, especially with that infinite facial hair. The fish uh, cut grows really fast. And like, okay. drinking on the job, <laughs> that's so not right. professional. I guess <laughs> we can talk to them, I guess. There's something I want to ask you. The scene of a crime. A cold grave for men who lost their dreams. How drunk are you? That's the question. <laughs> Let's not talk about that. And me? I'll watch over them as they sleep, dreaming of the desert's harsh judgment. He, he He's asleep. He passed out drunk. Uh, we should show him this hopeless case something to Matt catch his interest. Uh, I guess we could present the thingy, maybe? Uh, Jack, what I got? Do you mind reading this for me? What's this? I warn you, fan letters to me, uh, fan letters to me go right in the spittoon. It's a letter of introduction from Gum Detective Gumshoe. May we investigate? Gumshoe? Oh, that old cow dog. Mm. You holding a birthday party or something? Huh? Look, where it should say letter of introduction, it says invitation. Ah. I think he just miswrote it. Wait, why am I getting all defensive here? No worries. This proves it's from Detective Gumshoe better than a blood test. Guess I'd better let you in then. Uh, thank you, Officer Marshall, sir. Oh, that's right. He's a patrolman, not a detective. Which reminds me. Hey, wait a sec. Isn't the crime scene supposed to be handled by detective or hire? Not some random dude who's drunk? You trying to tell me I'm not up to it? Well, folks, the clues are coming. Welcome to our gold strike. Be like the settler. Strike out for lands unknown. And I feel like you're avoiding the question. Manifest, <laughs> Manifest destiny. Let's have a hoot in it. Oh, I hate yeah, this guy. Yeah. He's certainly wor worse. Note to self, police investigations are like suddenly land if you're a drunk. No, they're not. 
Well, Mr. Wright, what do you say? I say I won't be laying this in the morning. Check the gum shoe letter of introduction crumpled and discarded. Wait, that might have been... Oh, well, we oh, well. got rid of it. All can right. we talk to him anymore? Uh, we can, I guess we can talk about the victim now, I guess. And maybe he'll give us a straight answer. I'm from Marshall. Can you tell us more about the victim without sounding drunk? No promises. Good men die, uh, good men always die young. Remember that, partner. Um, could you be a little bit more specific? That was his name. Good men. Oh, Goodman <laughs> was a detective, right? Well, well, aren't you a feisty doggy there now? You would stop with the dog, thing. <laughs> detective Goodman was stabbed here at 5.15. The smiling Madonna told me that tale. One stab to the chest, a fine piece of work. This here's the autopsy report. Thank you. Good me autopsy report added to the thing. But last due to one knife who did then one hour and a half at 4 p.m. Was my sister involved with the victim in any way? Funny you should mention that, Bambina. Chief, Pros uh, Chief Prospector Sky and Detective Goodman had nothing in common at all. Mm. Nothing in common? They apparently worked together on a case a few years back. But there's no motive? Goodman wasn't a particularly gifted detective. That's one reason why he didn't do much work with the Chief Prospector. But my sister supposedly called the victim here on the day of the murder, right? Here, to this parking lot. So it seems, like calling an unarmed man to a shootout at high noon. Alright. It's high noon. <laughs> oh, <damn> it. It's high <laughs> noon. <laughs> um, I don't mean defense, but... Why do you look like an Overwatch character? I was waiting for the perfect time. <laughs> Officer Marshall, you're a patrolman, right? Not a detective. You calling me out? They shoot you for that in Texas. Huh? <laughs> I was one of them fancy shoot detectives till two years ago, to tell you the truth. Oh, really? Now he tells me. Yeah, apparently they don't like drinking on the job. So I got but the boat. You're a patrolman now. That's probably an interesting story. So how can you be in charge of a crime scene now? Nothing gets by you, does it, Bambina? So why are you in charge? No reason. We're just shorting hands right now. I'm keeping an eye out in the meantime. That's odd, though. They're keeping everybody else away. Detective Gumshoe was saying he had nothing to do, nothing important, at least. <laughs> He's nothing but a sad old cow dog that can't find his tail. Maybe it's because he runs with that Edgeworth, eh? Edgeworth? Don't you dare! <laughs> that cow dog's been kicked out of his cattle run by order of the chief of police. Just, he don't realize it yet. Detective Gumshoe kicked out of investigation? That's bad. Anyways, thank you for the talk here. I'm gonna... Take a look at this stuff. No. <laughs> All right. Let's look at the look at this. Obviously, their cell phone. Okay. This looks like a Sally. Science Motorola. Scientific analysis would suggest that it belonged to the victim. Oh, is it a flip phone? Can't think of anyone else it could belong to. Not murderer. Not. What's so scientific about that? Should we check it out? Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. <laughs> Let's check it out. Uh, oh, it's, it's doing it for me. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at this. Can we open the celly? Oh. Hmm. The phone's still on the redial screen. Redial. On um, Mr. Right. Most phones keep a record of all the calls you've made and received. 
You just press the blue button to, sp to display the last number you called. Convenient, isn't it? I'm surprised you didn't know about it. Sorry to disappoint you, but I don't I even know things like you know. Huh? Oh, I'm sorry. It's just, you never know with people from your generation. You're oh. Is she calling us a boomer? Okay, boomer. <sighs> Whatever, millennial. Let's check. I'm phone. Generation B, thank you. <laughs> Alright, let's look what this phone takes us here. Oh, see who the owner's phone uh, the owner of this phone called Lance. Looks like a jitterbug. <laughs> Note to self, a defense attorney who doesn't think first, he just pushes the button. Clearly boomer. Hey, I know that song. I know that. What's going on over there? Beep, beep, beep. Uh, oh, yes. I'm sorry. Oh. You pressed free dial on that phone there, didn't you? Uh, well, yeah. Whose phone is this anyway? It was on the ground right over there. What was it? That belongs to Chief Prosecutor Prospector Sky. What? It's my sister's. She apparently dropped it when she was taken into custody, right after the crime. Look, the last call was made right when the murder occurred. Looks like she was fixing to call someone. Except she only spoke for a few seconds, according to this. Who did she call? No idea. Sorry, partner. Now, I got a question for you, partner. I heard a phone ring just now. One of those newfangled ringtone ring ring tunes. Uh, what? Oh, that. Oh, <laughs> oh that God, one. this that is so funny. What? What? Your phone. Yeah, it's kind of strange, but someone call me right as we pick up the other phone. Wrong number. Mm. I hope you're not lying. They shoot you for that in Texas, partner. God, what's <laughs> with this? It's yeah. Uh-oh, I incited the wrath of the Lone Star Patrolman. Cell phone added to the courtroom record. Wait, was she calling you? Is that what that's... Uh, maybe. Or maybe you could no. also call uh, Emma, maybe. She was calling You're Emma. Because like, our ringtone does not do the. Da, 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 da. Or were you saying well, it was phone rang? Phoenix's ringtone, ringtone is the samurai. Yeah. That's still samurai, but. This is still samurai song, so. The last call was made at 518 on the day of the moida. Alright. Let's see what else we can look at here. Uh, let's look at this stencil here. This rope, is it? Yep. They laid it in the outline of the victim's body. So wait, the victim must have died when the killer closed the trunk on him. Ellipsis. You got to be the only person I know who would come to that conclusion. Alright, what about the actual car? A Maserati? This appears to be the car. What about the bus gang? Looks like a lock of the trunk gets busted. Uh, I'm, Maddie? Maddie. I'm here, I'm here, okay. Uh, the crime took place in the underground parking lot at the prosecutor's office. The body was found in the trunk of my subordinate's car. Back to bed. <laughs> <laughs> Quite a luxury car. It just screams I have money to burn. No, he just has it on lease. Yeah, the prosecutor gets the big bucks. Oh. What's this? Looks like a note of some sort. Look, something's written on it. Hmm. You're right. Let's see. 67S12 dash slash 2. There's a name printed on the paper above that. 
says the Goodman. Maybe he fell out of his pocket when he was killed. He has his own stationery? Fancy. Mm -hmm. Well, so? What does it mean, Mr. Wright? What does it mean? How am I supposed to know? Note to self, for deductive reasoning, go to Edgeworth, not Wright. Oh, God. I'm sure <laughs> Edgeworth wouldn't know what that means either. Goodman note added to the courtroom record. Picked a mobile phone in the car truck. Maybe it's like the parking, it has like A on the back wall. But Maybe we'll go to the red? It seems like a date. Go all the way to the oh. red. A block. This area is reserved for prosecutors. Uh, defense attorney are regulated to the B block. Harsh. I dream of the day when I will be able to park my car here. I'll go over to the B block to buy my hamburgers from you, Mr. Wright. What? <laughs> I'm not planning to give up my job that soon. What about uh, that? Uh, go, go to the front of the car. There was something. Oh, yeah, this. Oh, this B block's through there with the visitor's park. You can see the Lunchland car over there, far in the distance. Hey, you're right. It's like Keith's uh, design on the door. I can see a cartoon cow munching on a juicy looking steak. A veggie stick. That's weird. Cannibalism. Doesn't that strike you as a little creepy? Uh, just don't think too deeply about it. You'll be fine. Uh, I think that's it. I guess so, yeah. So we investigated everything mm -hmm. here. So, uh, let's see. Let's, let's slide over here. Maybe we could talk to this guy? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. this guy. Oh. So there's no connection between Detective Goodman and my totally innocent sister? That's correct, but there's a gold mine of evidence against her. Nani? Like what, bro? And, and a prospector tomorrow is none other than Edgeworth himself. I'm afraid your sister's fate is decided, then, Bina. Many condolences. Officer Marshall! Yeah, Bambina. First of all, not my name. <laughs> Second of all, how can you say that? You and my sister, you were... Man, I knew you were a couple. Man, is there something between this cop and her sister I don't know about? <laughs> I apologize, Bambina. Something must have gotten to me. <laughs> Maybe it's this beer right here. <laughs> Maybe it's that dry wind that's blowing through the prospector's office. How, how, much, how much? How much fluid is in that thing? Is there like a tumbleweed going around in the back? <laughs> Dry wind or ill will? Something's up to something here, but who? The office atmosphere. Suspicious about Mr. Edge or suspicions about Mr. Edgeworth has been flying around here for nearly two two years now. Forge evidence and enraging testimonies, you mean? He was unbeatable because he did whatever it took to win. Unbeatable, that is, until he met you. But rumors are just... rumors, aren't they? These prosecutors are talking about evidence is everything to Mim. If you follow the rumors about Edgeworth to their source, you find one person. But they're off limits. Untouchable, you might say. One person? Who? Hate to say this, but it's your sister, Bambina, Chief Prospe uh, Chief Prospector, Lana Sky. What? My sister? Edgeworth couldn't rustle all those cattle by himself. Some people load their guns with bullets. Some people load them with deals. Wait, what you're saying? Edgeworth was making deals to win trials. Where there's gunshots, there's bound to be bullets. That's what the old timers say. That's what they didn't say. Made up. <laughs> there's a big old secret hidden around here somewhere. Everyone knows it. Is that why Detective Gumshoe was taken off the case? Did they target him because he was the closest to Edgeworth? So, well, how are we doing, Mr. Wright? I'm very confused. Guess we got some clues. 
We have an autopsy report out from the victim in a cell phone. So, you think we'll be okay? Well, the only thing still bothering me is, is that Lana's confessing to the crime. It says she did it. No problem. I can guarantee that she's not the criminal. Oh, by the way, Emma. Yep. I know that song your phone plays it when it rings. Oh, it's her phone. What? Beep beep beep. It's a Steel Samurai <laughs> theme song, isn't it? That popular TV show for kids? <laughs> the phone that rang earlier was mine. It was yours. 518 is after the murder took place. Your sister called you, didn't she, Emma? I am so sorry. Can you tell me what you talked about? I... she hung up right away. I see. Tuffel, updated the courtroom record. Property of Lana Sky and last call was made to a sister at 518 on the day of the murder. Can you look at the autopsy? I want to figure out something about time. Maybe. Uh, it, 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 uh, check. Here we go. The time was uh, between 4:30 p uh, 4 p.m. and 5:30 p.m. Cause of death. Uh, wound was caused by 4.5 inches. A single stab was wound found. Okay. okay. I mean, it might come important later, but. A detective is murdered, a suspect is on top, and the prosecutor in the district. I got a bad feeling about this. Like, maybe I don't know everything that went on here. Bum, bum, bum. This is a good time yeah. to put a pause tonight. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Was, we're kind of like overtime. We, we're like overtime right now. But other than that, let me save so I don't accidentally close and not saving like last time here. There we go. Now we save you. So, um, thank you guys for joining us tonight. Even though we went a little extra, that was kind of a long, like, opening, you know. But uh, I'm glad we got to this point. Um, I guess do uh, you guys want to continue again, as usual, at 6.30 Wednesday? Sounds good, good to me. I'm good. You good, you good. Uh, Wednesday, yeah, I think this will be forward. Okay. Yeah, so 6.30 then. All right, then. Well, thank you guys for joining. I hope you guys have a good night's sleep. I'll see you guys again at 6.30 on Wednesday. All right. Good night, bro. All right. Get out of here. Not everyone. I'm going to have to work with this video later. <laughs>